Hello dear students, in today's lecture, our topic is chemical transform of second derivative based theory. In this sequence, we have already discussed the derivatives of chemical transform of first order, that is Hv of df upon dx, and with the help of Hv of df upon dx result book the second part of the theorem of in terms of uh, second order derivatives of angle transform. Now using the theorem 1 and 2 we get the basic steps of the derivatives of angle transform. Now this is the third theorem of Henkel transform based on second order derivatives. So, what is the theorem? Theorem is prove that Hv of d square f upon dx square plus 1 by x df upon dx minus d square upon x square f such that p equal to minus p square fv of p. Where f v of p is the Henkel transform of order v of the function f x. So how can I prove this result? Again, we start as usual from the definition of Henkel transform. So, by definition of Henkel transform, we have h v, and what is the function? Function is d square f upon dx square plus 1 by x df upon dx minus v square upon x square f. So, put here in the form of fx such that p and right hand side because when we reduce hv 0 to infinity x of jv of px d square f upon dx square plus 1 by x df upon dx minus v square upon x square f dx. Now, multiply x with this group d square of f upon dx square plus 1 by x df upon dx minus v square upon x square f dx. So, jab log x se multiply karenge is part mein, to result jo hai, ho jayega jv of px as it is, and this is x into d square f upon dx square, x would be cancelled. So, it is 1 of d f upon dx minus d square upon x because x 1x would be gone, v square upon x of f dx. Then after, use this part as integration by parts. So, put jv of px equal to first function and this part d by dx of x of d f upon dx this is second part so integrate by parts of the first integral and when we integrate integration by parts the first digit first part becomes 0 because x into f as x is 0 when x tends to 0 and x tends to infinity so the rest of the second part of the first integral is 0 to infinity x of d by dx of g v of px df upon dx of dx and the last one part is as it is v square 0 to infinity 1 by x j v of p dx only v square should be outside let's say again we use integration by parts this part and after that the result becomes 0 to infinity 1 by x of x square d square upon dx square jv of px plus x d by dx of jv of px minus d square jv of px fx dx. This is known as equation number 1. So, equation 1 the convert one ke hum log kya ki hai? just start from the definition and multiply x throughout 
after that we use integration by parts whatever the result is getting again use integration by parts of the first integral and we get the equation number 1 since here jv of bx jv of x satisfy the Bessel's differential equation x d square y upon dx square plus x dy by dx plus x square minus d square y equal to 0 ये differential equation तो Bessel's function जो है define करता है jv of x define करता है and then after when it when it uh, define satisfy the differential equation this the basal function becomes x of d squared upon dx squared jv of px plus x of d by dx of jv of x plus x squared minus v squared jv of x equal to 0. So, this is the differential equation of basal second order differential equation form. Now, replacing x by px in this equation it becomes p square x square d square upon p square x square jv of px plus px d by d d by p of dx jv of px plus p square x square minus v square jv of px equal to 0. So, after simplification it becomes x square d square upon dx square jv of px plus x d by dx of jv of px minus v square jv of px and this part uh, p square x square jv of px and this would be right hand side minus p square x square jv of px this is equation number 2 now using equation 2 in equation 1 so this part and this would be common of equation 1 and 2 so putting minus p square x square jv of px here it becomes 0 to infinity 1 by x minus p square x square jv of p x f x d x. So x again x x cancel minus p square outside 0 to infinity x into jv of uh, p x f x d x. Now this integral 0 to infinity x into jv of p x jv of p x f x d x is equal to minus p square f of f of p this is the proof of the theorem so theorem 1 theorem 2 and theorem 3 three theorems based on the derivatives of angle transfer